Praise be your holy name. I come to you, Father. I come to you humbly, asking your forgiveness for my sister and all of those who follow her. Put that spirit of conviction within in them and let them come to the truth of who you are, Yeshua, of who you truly are. Someone who loved us all so much that you gave your life for everyone. Not one or two or three, but everyone. And forgive them. And Father, break those shackles of bondage upon their hearts. Break those shackles of bondage upon their minds. Open their ears so they can hear the Holy Spirit, the Ruh Kadesh, in the truest form. And see the true love of Yeshua and who He is. Thank you. In the name of Yeshua, Amen. I come to you today, and uh, y'all's little one, I, I, I really forgive you. See, I have my teeth in. And I can see that you really can't see whether I have a man or not, but they are. And you wouldn't even really know whether I had him or not unless Elizabeth told you. Because, see, I really don't know you. I've never met you. I've met her. I know nothing about you and you know nothing about me. Only but what you hear from Elizabeth, the one you call Mama. And let me tell you, if you live in so much fear that whenever you come to my channel or any other channel and you have to go back to her and apologize for going to a channel and then you feel that you have to say something to to get her praise for even going there, you know. Because she keeps telling y'all not to go. Not, no, no, don't go. That's, that's a forbidden thing. You know, I pray for you because you're under bondage. And you don't even know it. When you have to go to another human being and say, Mama, I'm sorry I went there and I did that. You're under bondage. You're no longer a child sitting in your mom and daddy's house. You are a grown adult. I hope I'm speaking to one. Even if you're 16 or 17, you should be mature enough in Yeshua to know how to live according to His Word and not a person's Word. That's why I really don't like for people to call me Mama, and there's several that wants to call me Mama. Um, no, I'm your sister in Christ. I'm not, not your mother. I don't have the final word on what you can read or what you can't read or what you can look at or what you can't look at. Yeshua has that, and He gets the conviction power on you whether you should or shouldn't. It shouldn't come from a human being saying, if you, you don't do this, or there'll be repercussions. And you know what they are, or you would not have went and said, I'm sorry, Mama, I went to Barbara's channel 
and I, I seen and I could see the horns and I could see that I don't even think she had her upper plate in do you not understand that like a child going to a mother saying I'm sorry mommy I spilled the milk I feel sorry I feel sorry break that bondage father break it but let me say this to you Elizabeth and y'all's little one and all the rest Matthew 7 don't judge so that you won't be judged for the way you judge others is how you will be judged the measure with which you measure out will be used to measure to you in other words he's saying if you're praying uh, people to die and you're praying them to go to hell and Elizabeth you're always screaming prove it prove it well you know I don't have to prove it to word Je Yeshua, Jesus Christ's words himself proves it that you're not to pray, pray for people's death a and and make fun of people just because you're angry and I say this in love because you're going to be judged by every word you judge others by and your group you're leading down into the same pathway and they're learning it from you because they call you mama so therefore they're learning what they're doing like little children that are being led astray and you know what I really do care for you I know you're hurt I know you are. I, I know this without a doubt. And if I did not have to tell you this because God, Yahweh, is telling me to warn you. He loves you and he wants you back. But you keep going off and being astray and you keep judging people when he says, quit it. Don't be judging people. Don't be praying for their death. Because I'm going to judge you with the same judgment that you judge them. This is what he's saying. If I could, I'd walk away. I love you, but I would walk away and say enough is enough. But he keeps saying, tell Elizabeth, quit judging because I will have to judge you by the very words you judge other people by. You're taking it out of my hands, Elizabeth, and making me judge you the way you judge other people. That's a fearsome thing to fall in the hands of the Almighty God. It's a fearsome thing to fall into His hands when He becomes angry because you refuse to listen to what He's saying. And I'm saying it directly to you because it's your life that's on the line, not mine, not Bruce's. Not the other people, but it's your life that he's saying, Elizabeth, I'm going to judge you just exactly like you judge other people. And he says, I'm saying this so that you can turn around. And these are not my words right now, Elizabeth. They are his words. They're, he's wanting you back. But one of these days, he's going to say, Okay, Barbara, that's enough. Just like he did Samuel with Saul. That's enough. I don't want to hear no more. Don't pray for him. Walk away. And I don't want to have to do that. I didn't want to start this journey. But God said so. So, in the name of Yeshua, I put that word forth. In the name of Yeshua, Father, it is done in the name of Yeshua. Amen.